Hi everybody and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So I hope you saw my last video because that explains where I've been and why I've been missing kind of thing. So I'm not going to go into this again. But um, yeah, so I finally had a snow day this week and I was actually able to read this week because last weekend was also really crazy. It had nothing to do with my job. I just had social stuff. So I didn't get to read. So I finally was like like weekend I'm gonna find time to read and then we ended up getting a snow day and it's still 6 30 so after dinner my plan is to maybe get through one more book which would be exciting especially because tomorrow um the ruby circle by Rochelle Mead comes out and I pre-ordered it so it should be here tomorrow and I already have all of my plans for this week made so I should be able to just like get home and read it if it's here so crossing my fingers so the first book that I read this weekend was Everlast by Andrea Buchanan this is the first book in the Chronicles and Mare set um, I got this book for free with book outlet for some reason it like came in my order even though I didn't even order it and I eventually ended up buying the rest of the books in the series too which <laughs> part of me is kind of regretting um, I did not really enjoy this book. It's about this girl in an alley, and she's got her friend Winston, her friend um, Mercedes, Heidi, and Jesse. I want to say his name is. So they're doing like a school project, and it's like on fairy tales, and they keep bickering about what fairy tale they're going to do. So then she finally finds this book, and it's kind of like a book of fairy tales that her mom has been talking to her about forever. Her mom's been in a coma, she's in a foster family, and they're at the library to do this project, and they open the book, and whoa, they get sucked into this fairy tale world. Allie's really like this princess in real life, and her friends get turned into different things in this world. And it's their job to, I don't even know what to do, and I don't even know how to describe this plot without getting, like, spoilery, but obviously, like, she's going to become queen of this fairy tale land, but they all want to go home. I don't know. <laughs> It wasn't that great in my opinion. I think I gave it two or even I was being nice, three stars. It was more like a two star. It had so much potential and for some reason I love fairy tales too. I just couldn't get into this book. I started it Saturday. I finished it yesterday. Like I was planning on finishing it rather early so that way I can like, I thought this was going to be a quick read so that way I can get into something else because the font isn't even that bad. But it took me a while. It wasn't that great in my opinion. Maybe the series will get better. I hope so because I have the next two books. But we shall see. Then last night after I finished that one I did have like 30-ish <coughs> minutes to start another book before I went to sleep. Because even though I knew I had the snow day I kind of didn't want to spend all night reading. Um, and I opened my unread book. Um, what do you call it? I have a window seat where I keep my unread books. And I opened it and I was like, there's nothing in here that I'm really excited about reading. What do I do? I want to read something. So I finally decided I might as well let myself start the Harry Potter series in this edition. I've obviously already read them in the, this edition, but I haven't read them in this edition yet. So I decided... Maybe this will get me back in the kick of reading. Obviously, that last book was my first book that I picked up since I got my new job. And I was like, I need to get back in the swing of things of reading. So obviously, I was like, why don't I just pick something that I know I want to read, like that I've been wanting to read and that I know that I'll like. And luckily enough, because I read that two years ago, this still counts as my, in my Goodreads challenge. So that was exciting. And um, the, the last time I read it, I gave it four stars. Because I was so caught up in comparing it to the movie because I read this two years ago for the first time. And this time I kind of didn't even think about the movie. Like the only time I thought about the movie is like if Hagrid was talking I'd picture Hagrid's voice. But I wasn't like comparing it to the movie every five seconds. So I started this last night and then I finished it this morning. Um, obviously really good. I gave it five stars. And I'm looking forward to continuing on with that series. But the thing is... With the fact that I don't get a lot of time to read, I feel really guilty rereading books when I have so many unread ones there. So I decided I'm just going to stop with this one and then eventually I'll pick up the second one and throw it into the mix. Then I read Passionaries by Tanya Hurley. 
This is the second book in the Blessed trilogy. I, the third book's not out yet. And I just picked this up because I thought maybe it would be a quick read, especially since it's a sequel. And it's a sequel to a book that I really remember enjoying. But the problem was I didn't remember enough of The Blessed to read this one. <coughs> I was hoping there would be a little bit of a recap in the story. And there was just like one event that they kept harping on that happened in the last book. But like I didn't remember any of the background story to the characters or anything. Like I would have just appreciated just a little bit of a recap in the first chapter. And I just didn't get that. I gave it three stars. Um, it was still like decent enough. I guess you can say like it was enjoyable but I just felt like I was missing something like I didn't understand the plot line like whatsoever and I don't know so it should be interesting when the third book comes out because that's not coming out till July and I'm not gonna pay full price for it because I just don't want to and so that means I'm gonna have to wait a while for it to, after it comes out to get it so I'm probably gonna have the same problem with that one as well but I mean, it's a decent series. It's not awful. I feel like if I had read them back to back, it might have been a different experience. I know this series is completely like under um, read. I think there was only like 31 ratings or no, 100 and something ratings, but maybe like 31 reviews of this book. I know the first book, like everybody would buy the first book. I don't know if you remember, they've had a cover change, but it had like a girl and it was reversible. And it was really, really pretty. And I remember so many people buying it, but I don't remember anybody reading it. So it's kind of like a sad series where it's like not many people are reading it. So what if the third book doesn't come out and it just leaves like this? I don't know. So it should be rather interesting. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next. Like I said, it's still like 640. I'm going to eat dinner and then probably have time to start another book. I'd like to finish it, especially like I said, Ruby Circle's coming out tomorrow. So gotta have my plans on for that one so we'll see hopefully I'll have another weekly wrap-up for you next week it'll probably only be like a book or two especially with the sense that it'll probably literally be whatever I finish now in Ruby Circle because obviously school I don't really get a lot of reading time anymore and then this weekend's Valentine's Day it is a long weekend with President's Day but I don't know if that means I have time to read or if that means more time with the boyfriend we shall see, because that, that's what's also killing my reading time, is because I'm always with him. Not that that's a bad thing, I love spending time with him, but I do miss my book boyfriends. There's no book boyfriends in this one, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so I hope you guys are having a really great week. Comment down below. I feel like I'm missing everything, because I haven't even had time to watch YouTube videos. Like, that's how sad my life has become. So let me know what's been going on, what I've missed, and I will see you guys in my next video.